Hey everybody, how's it going today? Probably better than Eric's day is going because he's inside this tank right now. This is our old liquid hog manure tank. We used to haul manure for the neighbor. We got out of that two years ago. Tank's just been sitting around. We thought, hey, it is just sitting around doing nothing. No one wants to buy them. So we're washing it out and we're gonna use it for 6,500 gallons of sprayer water. It's gonna be our holding reservoir in theory. So he's inside just cleaning out any leftover residue of uh, hog doo-doo. We do wash them out, but after we are done with them, we wash them out all the time, but it's still got, you know, crap and rust. And, eh. So we're getting her all ready to go. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna put a new, what I believe is called a brake chamber on the tear gator. This thing does have air brakes on it. And the old one right there is totally shot. Springs broke inside, brakes were minimal the last couple of years and it's finally gotten to the point of we're just gonna fix it. Half of the brakes not working is very inconvenient when you come to corners and stuff, as you can imagine. But anyways, we are going to put this one on, which I've never done before. Something about some measuring and cutting and something like that. So I'm gonna do that now while he's in the tank, which he's just on the other side of this wall. So if he needs help, I'll know. And uh, we have a signal. Stop power washing, pull the trigger three times like that. I know he needs help or wants out or needs a tool or something like that. So bear with me as I sure this is probably pretty easy, but it's gonna be my first time doing it. So it is what it is. So those of you that are truck mechanics, work on trucks and air brakes and all that, 36 by 36 brake chamber. I did not go through CAT for this. I mean, it's a truck part. So we just went to our local mechanic shop truck shop pick this sucker up to be just as good as a cat part for half the price this was 190 bucks cat wanted 372 and it probably didn't come painted just like their oil pan we put on up here that's not painted that was 680 bucks or something like that for the oil pan which i find completely ridiculous but it is what it is I have no choice cat stuff is really expensive i know deer don't give their stuff away either but every time we are involved in cat that's spendy Sorry, cat guys. Sorry. Okay, so I measured off of this old one right over here to know where to cut this off. A universal for all sorts of different trailers and stuff. And I'm gonna cut this off, leaving this nut right here on there so that I can get it off and kind of straighten the threads. And then we'll get her mounted up there. That one pretty good. Perfect. That was perfect. Inch and an eighth. Inch and an eighth. Wow. Not bad, Chet. Not bad. Let's measure to the hole. Three inches. Better tighten her up a bit more. Snug that for right now so we don't lose this position. Oh, nuts. My suggestion to anyone that is building a shop, put a pit in, mechanics pit in, man, it is my favorite thing of the shop. I mean, this obviously could be done pretty easily laying on your back or down on the ground, but you got light, it's just awesome. I would never change that about this shop. Yes, I know I need a haircut. And it drives me nuts when I put these in. Pokes my hair into my ear holes. Very unpleasant, but thanks to Corona, there's nowhere to go get a haircut, which is nice. Now I really don't know what I'm doing. The big Swede, he kind of knows what more than I do about this stuff, about truck stuff, but he's inside of a tank, so not much help. 
What I'm confused about is that there's something about measuring something. I might have to watch a YouTube video, but we're gonna try it first like this. Man, second time that's happened. Make sure I get the lines hooked up correctly, that'd be good. Everything's so rusted. Adjustment time, apparently. So now I'm removing this that's holding all the spring components. Don't ever take one of these apart because there's big springs inside of there. I think that this compresses the spring to make it safe to take it apart, but I would not take my word because I don't know as I've just always been told never to take these things apart because they'll kill you. But I'm just a farmer. I'm really getting heated up down here. This just came out when I took that tool out of the back side of it. This extended more. I really wish I knew more about this stuff. So I tried to fiddle around with the slack adjuster, but now since I took that tool out and loosened this all up, I can't move the slack adjuster. So now I gotta reinsert the tool, back this back in so I can loosen the slack adjuster so that, that don't happen again. I'm burning up. Really struggling. I fighting out with the slack adjuster getting tight on me, and I don't know which way to go with it. You mean you gotta loosen the slack adjuster? Yeah. How about copycat on the other side? I just don't know, and it's all up in there, so terribly tight. It's still loose. So. You've never done one of these? No. I'm sweating though. It's so hot. Well, have you loose? Ouch. Have you loosened that up? I think so. Here's right. this. Pull that. Turn this. Still loose, so I must have did the right way. Well, I picked up the big chunks of wood, and would you believe some crazy motorcycle guy is out riding motorcycle today? I believe. 40 mile an hour wind and yeah. heaven west right into it. But that's cold. You didn't want the bigger washers? I used what came with it. How was Eric doing? Oh. When I was out there, he had a shovel scooping the shit out. Oh, is it deep up front? Just the bottom where it never got washed out. Really. Yeah. Well, I gotta park my pickup away. Then come back here and help. As tight as this is, this would really hurt you if oh, you took yeah, this apart. Yeah, well, don't ever take one of them apart then. Oh, Nicole says I need to work out. Well, I am. See, look at me working. So hot. So hot. So hot. On the measurement, inch and a half. We're at inch and seven eighths, inch and three quarter. You're stroking. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Oh. A guy could her hernia. Her Talk about a guy that needs to work out. Oh, I was never good at that stuff. Monkey bars? No. <laughs> well, we did finally get this adjusted and inspect, so we should be good. We should have brakes now again. I just put those covers on there, working on that right here. And this thing actually pretty close to being ready to go, which is good, which is really good. It's getting closer and closer. Hopefully by the end of April is what I've been hoping for, that we'll get out in the field and start doing something. But you never know. Next week's temperatures are back down in the 30s and 40s, so probably won't be in a couple of weeks. But this thing might make an appearance, you never know. Oh my gosh. I thought it was bleeding. Just grease.
What are you doing? Oh, uh, you better look out or you could get blasted in or out. You can really get it when he blasts down in here. She comes shooting out all over. <laughs> That's just rust, right? I wouldn't say that. A little bit of doo-doo? Might be some residue. Most of that's rust. Has anybody ever thanked the farmer for feeding them? No, they'll complain about where your uh, rust is going into the drain. And Oh, well the rust is going outside to nourish the evergreen roots. <laughs> the roots of the trees out there, they'll love this iron. Uh, it's clean water with a little manure residue and a lot of rust chunks. You know, I thought this was going to be like a 15-20 minute job and it's been in there, what, two hours now? What are oh, you wow. doing? I got your tires pumped. Yeah. She's ready. She's ready to sit for another, another rest of its life. I'm not kidding you. Either get in or get out. <laughs> I'm really glad I'm not inside of there. How's it going? Do you wish that you, uh... <laughs> you wish you wouldn't have picked this job for the day? It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, that baffle down there is busted laying on the floor. It's a pain. It's just a water tank. If you can ever get the crap out of there. How's it going in there? Poor devil. Real good. Real good. He's called in the reinforcement. I'm going in. Well, good luck in there. I don't even have nothing to say. Can't see anything. Just don't rip my raincoat. You're buying a new one if you do. You might want to anyways. Careful there now. Don't rip that. See you later. Hey buddy! And it gets shorter back here. Oh my mess. I'm putting the GoPro outside so we don't swamp her. This is miserable. This is where they put people to torture them. Do you feel tortured? Again. <laughs> oh my god. Where's panic setting in or? He got out. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> Pulled the wrong straw today, huh? <laughs> there was only one straw and I was the only one drawn. <laughs> <laughs> All the rust. Wow. Little hog poo poo on his neck. Oof. Oof. Well, Dad's bringing in what we call the hammer, and then we're calling it a night. Let's go inside that tank again tomorrow, probably, and do some torching of some unneeded steel, some pipes that are full of hog poop. Ugh. Tomorrow, here we come. Next day, here we are. We're gonna be going inside this tank, torching out some pipes that are full of manure and might contaminate the water. Manure in the water ain't so bad, but it's any solid particles that might cause trouble. So we're gonna go in there, torch that out, or I am going to. It's this pipe right here on the inside that runs basically to the center. I'm gonna cut it in three foot long chunks, pull them out, throw them in the scrap pile. Oh. Still smells like hog poop. You didn't shower last night? You didn't need to. You're a disgusting human. I know. You gonna go in there or am I? I won't fit in today. I had a big breakfast. Oh, okay. 
thank you. Hold this and watch me get stuck in there. Look at my hair. <laughs> yeah, it definitely stinks. <coughs> Now it smells like a moist hog's hind end. Smell that? Yeah. That was kind of rough. That's nasty. Boy, whoever pressure washed this did a good job. Yeah, they did. Yeah, look at this tank. Whoa. Tripping. These are bad ones that were supposed to prevent the stuff from sloshing. And it's rotted out. We gotta torch that off. Get this out of here. Along with this here pipe. That runs right here. So, fire up the torch. It's letter buck. Hey, I need a striker lighter. Alright. Here we go. Let there be light. Definitely need a mask. This sucks. This is what I'd call a shitty job. Bring a mask too. It's really smoky in there. <coughs> now when I try to get out, I'll shove my head right into a blade. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? Okay, take this off, let me in there. Stinking up the whole shop here. That's yeah, terrible. Mission complete. Nikki, I lived. It got to be like 105 degrees in there towards the end with all the torching. We have to suck all the fumes out of there and then do some rinsing. Yeah. That's what I torched out. That was not fun. Is it nice out here? Is it nice out here? It's starting to smell out here. I had to open the door, I was getting all hot. <laughs> wow. I smell like tar. Yeah, you smell do. Smell me. I don't want to smell you. Smell me. No. Give me a kiss. No. <laughs> it's, it's dinner. You smell it? Time to eat. Yeah, I smell from yesterday. Uh, smell me. No. Smell me. Smell me! Disappointing is that bad? What is? Your father is disappointed in your piggishness. Ooh, what do we got for food today, Nikki? Little leftovers and whatever this is called. It's stroganoff. Stroganoff. You smell like a smoker. So I ran to town, got uh, some fittings, hose, and parts, while Eric ripped off all the old hogwinter equipment for them hoses. We made a bracket to connect to our three inch hose. I'm putting together some fittings and hopefully tomorrow when it's nice out we can get her unhooked and set up the way we want it for now. Should be pretty interesting. So one might ask why we're converting this tank to water storage but we are doing this so that we can hold what our tanker or our curtain side water trailer holds so that we always have this plus we have our old ground tank which is 3,000 gallons so we'll have 9,500 gallons of clean water for spraying which never used to be a problem until we added the second sprayer last year and we knew we needed more water storage and that is why we're doing this. So now we have the water to keep with two sprayers so that we can apply all of the cheap chemical but high quality chemical from Egg Chem Solutions. If you guys have not heard of Egg Chem Solutions, you should go check out the link in the description and see how they can benefit your farm with 
high quality, cheap chemical. Isn't that a nice pipe? It's a nice pipe. So I know that you are screaming at your screens right now saying, how are you gonna fill it? How are you gonna control it? Well, yeah, we just built this little bracket, weld those two bolts on. So if we wanna remove this ever to close the cover to use it for something else again, you just take these off. Cover works just fine without interfering with these bolts. The big Swede designed that. Then we have this here, little float. Water will come up, shut that off, and you'll have 6,500 gallons. So I'm just running this three quarter inch sprayer hose down the side of the truck, where that is where we will connect a 5 ace garden hose. Yes, a 5 ace garden hose is what we'll be filling this, plus the other 3,000 gallon tank. I know it's slow, but that's what we got. Probably be running for a long time. Actually, most of the summer, the well at the farm here pretty much pumps during spray season 24 seven fun fact but now we'll have some leeway so I was fighting to get this done tonight here I got it all painted up all the fittings are put together that are going on this trailer all the fittings for the hose are ready put together so they can dry tomorrow I think we're planning on getting this all set up so cue tomorrow day three here we go everything's dry picked up everything around here so we're ready to take this out Eric's over cleaning up the slab right now where we're gonna park this and unhook it. A couple other guys are working on some railroad ties to block up the fifth wheel plate. So we're ready to get this out. Well, here's its new home for probably, who knows how many years, forever maybe. I don't want to do that. No. Three tries only to get it in here this tight. Holy cow, I was, that's tight. I, was, I was waiting for you to rip your sidewall open. This is gonna work good. The garden hose will come right here, hook up right here. Yeah, it's slick. It's almost like we designed it. Yep. Let her buck. All right, let her buck. Thanks. So we got our hose ran from there Wait. to here where it keys in. We gotta go a little farther here, cut it, put our filter in, yellow hose to the trailer. This is what Randy and Rylan are working on, blocking it up. Neither of us are really sure if you're supposed to permanently keep 6,500 gallons on the jack. So we're being safe and building this. Gonna lower it down, they're getting one more block. Lower it down, take half the weight on this, right? Absolutely. This hose, it's like, 40 degrees out. Now quit slacking it's off like for money and let's finish. Gorilla. Doesn't stretch. We need Garth Garth Villa? Garth Godzilla. Fit. There we, we need go. Godzilla here to put these together. Wow. Wow, you're strong, Eric. I know. Now for my favorite part. Helps guide it. Okay. Guide the fitting. And then can you let that clean? <laughs> you gotta oil the boots. Jeez, sloppy. Sloppy. That's sure. sloppy. Here oh, comes man. the struggle-ish hit, hit me at 10 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> can you bend it like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, can you get... 
get close in. Oh. <laughs> That's good enough. That's it's, it's good enough. Hey, thanks for watching this video today, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and write any comments, suggestions, or concerns in the comments below. I appreciate it. Have a good one.